Hello and welcome to another episode of my animation series where I teach you how to be better animators uh, help you improve to be 3D animators I am Andrew Tan and today's episode is going to be a little bit different because uh, we're not going to use Maya even or any other software or we're going to draw anything because we're going to talk about uh, hardware and what I use and I believe a lot of professional artists uh, use this and they may agree with me on this thing that I use. Uh, we use we use a Wacom tablet into us. So this Wacom tablet. Oh yeah. Um, so why are we using a Wacom tablet for Maya, right? Um, as um, I think we heard this a lot that um, using the mouse too much is too is not good for you because um, our hands are not meant to be in this uh, pronated position for too long because um, as you know there's like two bones that goes down our hands that's the uh, inside owner outside radius and this and when you turn your hand like this to hold on to a mouse or anything in that matter the bones actually crisscross each other and that crisscross can create a lot of tension your muscles, your nerves, and your ligaments, tendons that's going through down this middle, uh, your carpal tunnel. You heard this a lot, right? That's like a, it's a common injury for people who use the PC a lot, especially artists. Um, yeah, so this little tunnel right here, the slightest uh, tension can create pain and discomfort. You might as ex you might have experienced this as well if you spend too much time uh, using the computer, using the mouse too much, or playing games anything for that matter um, that's why I use the Wacom tablet so when you're holding the pen right you're not in that pronated, pro pronated position it's about halfway there it's about this we wanted we want it to be as close as possible to be like a hand handshake position like so so the, um, it's not there but it's close enough and it's close enough to avoid most of the pain and um, I recommend that you try this out it might take a while to get used to this using Wacom tablet to animate in Maya or anything in Maya. Um, after about a week or two, you get used to it. I've been doing this using Wacom tablet for four years now. Yeah, four years now, and it's I like it a lot. It's very comfortable, and I right now when I switch to the mouse, it's actually really weird to use to really to use the mouse. It's very awkward. My I feel like my hands are kind of cramping up and ugh, I don't like it I don't like it so that's that covers the Wacom and um, I know that a lot of people you when they zoom in and out in Maya they use the scroll button right the middle scroll but in the web when you use the Wacom tablet you'll be using the little side buttons right here uh, you can assign one of these buttons I assigned that the top one so that's one and two right the top one to be the right click so when you zoom in, you can actually hold down Alt button and then the right click. And you and when you scroll in and out, you actually can zoom in instead of using the uh, zoom. So that's that solves the scrolling issue when you use the Wacom tablet. Right, that's it for the Wacom tablet. And then for the left hand, using the keyboard, we have a fix for that too. Because um, you know like the Wacom tablet is kind of big and clunky let me show you right it's mm, it's big right so they don't have space for your keyboard and your Wacom tablet to be right next to each other and you end up doing this weird reaching out position so your left hand is reaching out your right hand is bended um, this yeah this is uncomfortable too since you're spending eight hours a day five days a week if you're doing like a full-time um, C um, CG artists, uh, digital artists, and over time this is pretty uncomfortable too. So my solution to that is to do to use this method. So we don't want this. We do not want this one. We want this one, right? So this little de I have a little device here right next to my Wacom tablet when I work when I animate. Uh, it's, I use a mechanical gaming keypad, uh, the Razer Orb Weaver, if you've seen this before. It's actually for gaming, 
but I bought this for the intention of using Maya. Pretty crazy, isn't it? But it's your it's what you do uh, most of your time, so it's it's worth it. I would say. Uh, why the Razer Obweaver? Because yeah, I want it right next to each other. Wacom tablet, keypad, right next to each other. And then I assigned my hotkeys to on Maya so that it would suit my keypad. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video on the hotkey customization, I customize it so that it's on the left side of the keyboard. So therefore, I could translate the, the keyboard hotkeys into my keypad hotkeys. So I don't have to kind of uh, figure out, oh, I'm using a keyboard today, so hotkeys is this, like this, and I'm using a keypad today, so my hotkeys are like this. I wanted to make it um, kind of streamlined so I don't have to think about it. I just create a muscle memory. And yeah. And um, if you notice about the Razor of Weaver, it's, um, if you can see it, it's slightly curved, like so. Because when you put your hand on the keyboard, right, it's your hands are perfectly flat, which is mm, not comfortable over time. So I, I want it to be as much like this as possible, but we don't have any keyboards like that that exist. I, I think we do, but it's weird. So we have some, this up weaver is somewhere in between. So it's, a, it's like, like this, not this much, but you know, somewhere around there. And it's got li these little paddings these little paddings that you can rest your palms on. To me, it's um, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but then I got used to it. What I got, what I like about this, right, is that this little button. Let me show you the orb weaver. Right here, there's this uh, little button right here. It's it's so um, it's like right in the in the, the best place possible. Like you just put your hands on it, and your thumb is just right there. Compared to if you put your hands on the keyboard. The alternate button is like somewhere like inside, so you have to do this weird tug, thumb button motion. But this one is just poof, and everything is where they want to be or should be. Right? Um, yes, I recommend using, giving this a try. It's a little expensive, and it's a mechanical keypad, so it's very noisy. So uh, using this in the office is kind of annoying for your colleagues around you. So that's a different alternate version to this, which is the Razer Tataris. It's exactly the same thing, except there's uh, three rows of keys instead of four rows of keys. And it's smaller, and it's not mechanical keyboard. So you don't disturb your coworkers. And did I mention it's smaller? Yeah, it's smaller too. So if you have small hands, this is good for you. My hands are, um, I think, medium size. I'm pretty short guy, so my hands are not very long. So if I put my hands on this thing, it's almost okay. I have problems reaching out like the top corner button up here. So I rarely use it anyway. I assign that button for play blast, and I don't play blast that up often anyway. Mm, what else? Yeah, I think that's it for the Alt Weaver and the Taurus. Did I miss something? All right, this mouse. Um, so there's an alternate version to the mouse. If you don't want to use the Wacom tablet, which I recommend you. Since you're an artist, you should just get a tablet anyway, since you're going to learn how to draw, right? Or you should learn how to draw. Uh, if you don't want to, you can use the mouse and you can try using this vertical mouse. I haven't tried this before. So I can I couldn't really say much about it. I was I almost got one of these things. But then they're pretty expensive at that time. So I just learned how to use the Wacom tablet. So if you wanna not spend extra money, just learn how to use the tablet. It's not that bad. It's not that hard to learn. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, that's all for this episode. I'm just thinking if I miss anything. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, um, I'll be making more of these videos um, to give to kind of help you out with your workflow and animation. And I think next the next video, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe I'll do something about uh, releasing wrist pains since we're in this ergonomic wrist pain kind of uh, spectrum. So maybe I'll just get the ball rolling and create something about uh, releasing tension in your wrist. Right? Alright, see you next week then. Bye-bye.